One, two. All right, so if you have a choice and you have a knife, are you going to put it up or down? Depends on my distance. Depends on the distance. I like that. It depends on the distance. What else does it depend on? Do they have a weapon? It depends on whether they have a weapon. These are both good answers. What's another factor that would make us choose one or the other? Depends on whether you want to jab or not. Mm. I would well, say, you jab, yeah. you could. Yeah. and I would say the other, the other most important factor is how long it is. Because yeah. if the blade is this long, like a big Bowie, yeah, I really to. don't want to be in the down position. The longer it gets, the more awkward it becomes. And if you exaggerate it a little bit, you get it. This is getting a little bit awkward, right? To do this. Mm -hmm. The shorter it is, the better it is. If you have one of those little three inch, you know, uh, sissy knives, you need to be in the down position because mm -hmm. you ain't got no slashing power. Yeah. And thrusting is still kind of weak, but if you can, if you can plant it all the way in up to the handle and rip it out, then you've got something. So you want a smaller knife. Yeah. Smaller knife is definitely down. Unarmed is another time. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the length is going to determine a lot. Because you know it can just it can just get too too cumbersome. Um, uh, so length and then whether or not they're armed or not. If they're unarmed, down uh, down is better. We're not worried about them countering us or slashing us or something like that. So we go in straight for the the business. And then the other factor is uh, closeness could be a factor too. A lot of times if we're doing this and we're we can be you know it's easier to get in and get out and stuff like that. And if you're close and it's just you know. It's this time.